intro power. I understand. I I'm understand. summoning the intro power so I can have a good intro. And welcome back to the Rescue Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only <laughs> podcast that tells you to pay your rent. <sighs> that was it was something. He's Eric. I'm Owen. You know what grinds my gears? What grinds your gear? Well, okay, we're doing Gear Grinders three. Uh, no, 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 no. You know what drives my gears? Grind. Okay, what happened? Is the people who watch your videos and don't subscribe. You Oh, okay, yeah. Grind my gears. Subscribe to this wonderful channel, Daily Shorts Content. Anyways, we're doing gear grinders today, folks. Our third edition. Number three. Count them up. One. Did you know number three two, is the three? Is before two. Wait, 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 no, wait, no, wait. No, no, no. Before four <laughs> and after two. I swear I'm in college. I swear. Anyways, <laughs> what grinds your gears? You know what grinds my gears is when you're going into the store and you go to look at the Funko Pops and there's a specific one you're looking for and you find it. It's the last one you get that's there and you grab it and the box is damaged. Yep. It's all creased up. The corners are torn. This happened to me today because there's this one I want, but... Uh, I'll show uh, this off in a second, but... Okay. Well, I, there was one that I wanted, um, but the I got it in the box. I saw it in the box is all messed up, which I, I've seen at other places. I could get mm -hmm. it if I wanted to. But then I was just like thinking, I was like, that really sucks. What if this person really comes here to get this and they just see this torn up? It looks like somebody dropped it and kicked it at least eight times. Yeah. Not, no, not that, good. That, not good. It always it always happens at Target. Specifically, oh, yeah. Because like I was at Target today. That's actually. Yeah. It and it's like it's always the one. It's not one that i've like actually wanted to buy but what i was going to bring up is i have this this one it's a tachi one with the crows one of my favorite ones i don't know if you can see it on camera oh but yeah like, it's dented on the bottom it's dented on the bottom i bought it online so it's a different story of course but i mean at least the way i display my funko pops it doesn't like it doesn't get in the way too bad but like that Most is of mine are all quality checked the only thing is there's a little tear up in this corner right here um uh, Spotify viewers, there's a little tear in the corner. Uh, yeah. yeah um, a, but I, I quality control. Even if I buy them online, I normally only buy them from a place where I can see pictures of the one I'm getting before. Yeah. Him. That one. So, that one was that one was gifted to me. So, um, I. It's not like I was. I was. I'm just like what I, I like the Funko Pop enough that I'm probably not going to sell it. And plus, the way I display my Funkos, it's not like a big deal. You can't really see right. it. Right. So it's not it's not the end of the world, but yeah, that's so it's just like any collect like trying to collect anything, even like video games. Like if you're going to like a retro game store and they have like one game left of like a GameCube game that I want. I remember this happened to me once. I was trying to look what game was I looking? I think it was like for Paper Mario uh on the GameCube. And the the cover was all torn up, the disc mm. was scratched, there was like the like little like plastic on top. Like that doesn't that like doesn't help your off. that doesn't help your uh your collection at all. It, no, like yeah. it's it, it, it's unfortunate. I mean, especially I Xbox 360 games, you always got them in like really the top, bad. the tops yeah. and the sides were always just like missing the plastic. Ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, I understand like a little bit of like, you know, like tear, but like, like a little bit of like it, because it's an older console, of course. Right. So they, they've been around for a while, but the, the, but it doesn't need, the it doesn't need to look like crap. Cover and stuff <laughs> like that, but it doesn't need to look like, and you can also fix a lot of that stuff. Not like the actual art, but like the, the, the plastic thing, you can fix that. You can mm -hmm. also fix the disc by cleaning it and all that stuff. But yeah, I guess it's like collecting stuff. I'm going to pull the rest of my list. But Yeah. What what grinds your gears, Owen? Uh, let me pick one here. I'll do this one. So, you know what grinds my gears? Is people who... This could be for any show. It doesn't have to be for anime. Who complain about filler. It makes zero sense to complain okay. about filler in a TV show or an anime. I, I agree... Except we, when you're looking at it from the point of binging it, it's fine. But imagine you're keeping up with Naruto Shippuden as it comes out, and it's forty. Right. You know, Shippuden's forty-two percent filler. So right. if you if you're following up with that as it's coming out, and then it's like like every other week or like whatever is like it's a filler episode, and you're like, what the heck? I want my show. The way the way I'm looking at it is like at least at least now with like the modern. With TikTok, right? Everybody's complaining about, oh, Naruto isn't isn't that good because it has blah blah blah. See that filler. that like, doesn't make sense because that's what I'm referring to. I'm like, you can just skip the filler. Like, 
there is mm-hmm. no you don't you don't lose anything from it you get all the knowledge you get from the manga you get everything you need don't complain about something like that same thing with one piece even though it doesn't have as much filler and same obviously nine percent it's just like if you're getting in an argument with somebody about like a show and they bring up filler and, and like and it's I, it's invalid it's completely it's an, it's invalid an, and this it's an invalid take and even like i don't know about like other shows like like other tv shows that i'm not thinking of i don't know how much filler they have if they even have any filler but it's just i don't know dude it's like it was a different type of world back then people had to meet tv demands and contracts so they had to make filler episodes but it adds no narrative value to the show and i just i i it does it doesn't make sense to me and maybe it's because i defend shows like naruto and one piece a whole lot and mm-hmm. that's why it makes me mad but like it's, it's annoying yeah it's it's a stupid take like you just skip over it and then you're just so you're flying through all the stuff that you need to do and like if you're oh, yeah. intimidated yeah. by like the size of like if like shippuden and then you're just like oh yeah you can skip 42 percent of the show yeah and then it's like and it's like okay sweet i can binge this a lot easier and if you're really dedicated and you really want to watch the filler even though most of it's bad you can it's there i don't it, recommend doing it it's like it's all. like uh it's like uh if if you're caught up and you're like man i want to watch more of this you can go back and watch it you can but, i don't but, i don't see any point in it i mean like there's no point in it yeah i caught up i i watched all of naruto i didn't want to watch the filler i was satisfied i'm pretty much almost caught up with one piece i'm satisfied i don't want to go watch the filler there's no right. point because like I, it, it kind of ties in with like one thing I absolutely hate with any show is that something that just is pointless to the plot, the overall plot, and that's obviously filler is because it's not towards the actual plot. There's a stupid mm-hmm. mat flying around my setup right now. You should, really you should just hit it. I might. So if you hear me clap really loud in the middle like that, I missed it. Anyway, <laughs> bro did not get it. I missed. <laughs> oh, I got him. I got him. He's on my. Ooh. Okay, sorry about that. Um, yeah. So if you uh, filler sucks, and um, oh, that's what I was saying. Um, if you're watching a show and you're complaining about filler, or you're going to complain about filler, like in defending of a show, like it, it's the average AOT fan thing is that they love to defend AOT because it doesn't have any filler. I don't get that argument because a lot of Attack on Titan feels like filler sometimes, but. It's it's just I don't know. It, there's just no point to, in my eyes to complain about it. And when you're bringing it up as a knock to like two of the best shows, Naruto and One Piece, you're just you're you're nitpicking to an extent that's not even nitpicking because you're just complaining about something that doesn't matter. So. Right? Yeah, I agree. I agree. Don't don't try to use that in your arguments. If you're please don't do this. don't do that because it's 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 not valid. It doesn't help your point at all. Okay, you know what it's grinds my gears, to Owen. Yes. Is when you watch a movie that's either like uh like a like a rom com or an action comedy, and it sucks at both. So movies, a lot of movies from like the early two thousands or the like the the nineties that were like action comedies, right? Mm-hmm. It was always just mediocre mediocre action and mediocre yep. comedy, like. Do one or the other. You can have an action movie that has some jokes in it. Don't try to make an action it's comedy like, if it's not going to be ha- be funny yeah. or action packed. It doesn't. You got you to focus. You got to focus on one or the other. It's like you got to you got to stay in your boundaries at least. Like that's what one thing I like about a lot of. I mean, like the good comedy movies stick with comedy. The good action oh, movies hilarious. stick with action. Stick with action, right? And honestly, you can you what I what I when I first when you said this, what I instantly thought of was New Marvel is how they're trying to mix action and comedy into all one and it just doesn't work at all i think the older ones like the comedy flowed off naturally because yeah because it like, wasn't like a focus in the movie like guardians now they're, like trying to make well. it a focus well because uh, guardians like, was more like an uh, was even felt more like a comedy than yeah but the action else. was still pretty good but like even like yeah. the avengers even like the avengers movies the banter between all the heroes banter between everybody it, it works and they're not like in new marvel where they're in some super serious situation and they're like He's right behind me, isn't he? Oh yeah. Are, well, I'm. I'm like. I'm, I'm not thinking about Marvel because that's just. I. I think that's, that's anomalies. Just, you can't really bring that up in this kind of you, argument because it's. It's a. It's a completely different story. I'm you, thinking, you watch. You watch more movies than I do. That's just what I thought of. So. Yeah, like I watch. But I do know movie, if you've ever seen uh, the movie Shanghai Noon. It's with Owen Wilson and uh, uh, Jackie Chan. And it's supposed to be an action comedy movie, 
But I was bored out of my mind because the action sucked in it and the comedy sucked in it. There was like two good quotes from the whole movie. And like, like wh- right. why? Like you're like, you're just doing a bad job. Give me something that's focused. Give me something that either has time spent on the comedy or time spent on good action. And yeah. don't, don't shows- cheap out trying to appeal to a bunch of different audiences. It also shows, like, on top of this it being bad, it shows that you have a lack of confidence in your writing and, and, like, everything else that goes into a movie or, you know, anime or TV show or even video game. In this case, there's video right. games that do something like that. But it just shows a lack of confidence in something that you do and, like, the what it, like your writing or whatever you're trying to do. And you're just like, oh, well, we might only appeal to a super small majority of people, so let's just inject some horrible last-minute comedy in it just to make it seem funny. It, just, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Give this, me something focused. Just, Give me something good. It's just, it's just like a blend of trying to appeal to too many people. I think that's what this could be boiled down to. Yeah. It, it's all over the place. Like in, like I said, in any sort of form of media, it, yeah. it's all over. So, yeah, that's that definitely grinds my gears. So, you know what grinds my gears? What grinds your gears, Owen? Gosh, gee golly, does this flip my lid. <laughs> Okay, what is it? <laughs> so would you? So <laughs> sick. I don't know. Uh, sports ball people. That's what I have it in my notes at. And he's spinning the wheel. And he's, so sports ball you, people are the worst. I do not like these people. If you're one of these people. I don't like you. I'm sorry. Like I can't Go like team. dance. I can't dance around it and be like, oh, you know, you know, it's just like, yeah, I get it. No, I just don't like you. It's like, guys, 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 they scored a touchdown, right? They scored a touchdown, right? We're watching we're watching baseball, but they scored a touchdown, right? <clears throat> That's so funny. I hate that. I absolutely hate it. It's so annoying. Like people people that people that like watch the Super Bowl and then they're like, who are you rooting for? And they're like, the commercials. <laughs> I hate those my people. lid is flipped <laughs> I, I i i hate those people like it, i i don't i don't like using that word too much but like man, go it is, <laughs> it's it, like here's the thing i understand not being i'm not trying to sound like oh you should always be into sports but like a just don't go to the events or b just don't do, just don't talk about that because there's people who are genuinely interested in the game or like it doesn't have to be the super bowl like if you're like Watching, casually, watching, watching a baseball game or watching a baseball game, but like at a baseball game. And you're like, I don't know, dude, like it, it, it's, it's a vibe killer. And like, I've been around so many, not so many people because my whole family's into sports. So like, I've been around a lot of people where they're just like, that they do stuff like that. And it's like, dude, you, it's just a vibe killer. That's what or it even, is. Or even in uh like, in like high school games, dude. Like, yeah. Like, especially I was in marching band, right? Uh, I was in marching yeah, band. Yes, so I played football. So Nerdy I Eric. Really speak to this as much, but I was just sitting in the stand. I was watching the game, and then people back there are like, "Ooh, home run!" I'm yeah. like, "Shut up!" <laughs> yeah, it, it's just up. like you're not. It's not funny. funny. Like, they, they think they think they're hilarious when they do that because they because and then there's also the same people that rip on sports for it being like appealing to certain audiences only and like only certain type of audiences like it or whatever blah 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 it appeals to the male fantasy blah 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 it, let me watch some sports. Let me, yeah <laughs> let me watch football bro let me watch baseball it's just, it's just like, a bunch of dumb guys running around hitting each other it's like yeah do you not know what a play is do you not do you know, know what that, a play like, is? <laughs> like that there's like brain going into this it's like, oh, there's no strategy involved in it. It's just it's just people bashing heads together. You swing bat, you hit ball far. No, no. This also goes to tie in where people are like, yeah, I could hit a baseball at the major league level. No, you couldn't. <laughs> I, could, I could get a touchdown at the National Football League. I, I could shoot a three. I could get a three easy. No, stop. You can't do that. No. It's I ridiculous. It's just, it's just this, like the, the, the people who watch I, I, look, this doesn't have to be sports in general. This could be anything like no matter, no matter what you're talking about, but I always see it the most with sports and it's like, oh, yeah. people are like they think it's quote, like they think they're sick or cool because they're hating on sports because it's popular or whatever. And I don't know, like I, that's, 
it's something that's grinding my gears more as I've been watching more sports and getting into sports more. But like, even when I didn't watch sports, I was never like that. It's also, it's because I play sports, of course. But like when I start, like, cause I only started really getting into the MLB and NFL when I was like later in high school. Before that, I didn't really watch sports. But like, even then I was like, you know, I was still, I didn't do stuff like that. I thought, I didn't think right. it was funny at all. Cause it's, it's not, just, <laughs> it's not funny. Like it's, it's genuinely not funny. And it happens every year. <laughs> it happens every single year. So, yeah, that, that one grinded my gears a little bit. It flipped my lid. Gosh, gee golly. So do, are, is this like a, is this a norm now? Do we have to have a, a funny, like a funny, funny way to. I got to be honest. I was like, I didn't, because I, I came up with these a little later in the day. And I was like, I need to, I need to sound funny with this. And I'm like, gosh, gee golly, wouldn't this be funny if I flip my lid? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. I don't know. You know what? You know what? I'm just going to go back to it because I can't think of anything off the top of the dome without sounding stupid. You know what grinds my gears? What grinds your gears? When you're glowing out clothes shopping, right? Mm -hmm. And you see two shirts from the mm -hmm. same brand in the same yep. style. It doesn't have to be shirts. It could be pants, anything. And they're socks. the same style. It could be socks, maybe. I don't know why I did that face. And you go to the fitting room to try it on, and one fits great. And you're like, oh, the next one will probably fit great. And for some reason, it fits completely different. Like, I was at the store, right? So I'm at the store. I'm wearing one of them right now. They're just like a really heavyweight shirt. And I was like, I like this. They're just a solid color, heavyweight shirt. Um, it was buy one, get one half off. And I'm like, yeah. sweet. And I like grab like a couple different colors because I want to see how they look. And I take him. I have like a like this one, a tan one, and a I blue one, with, and a white one. Yeah. And I take it to the dressing room and I put the first one on. I was like, "Yeah, this is great." And I put on the next one. And it's like ridiculously tight, and I'm like, "What the heck? This is the same brand, the same model of shirt, just a different yeah. color." I put on the next one, and it was way too baggy. They were all the they were all larges. Like, I I don't get it. It, it makes me so mad, especially with pants too. I wonder, I wonder if it's like, I mean, cause obviously the thing is like when you wash something, it, it shrinks a little bit. Not that drastically, bro. Not that much. Like, of course. Like but if, I, you, I wonder, if you saw what I looked like in each different shirt, you'd be like, those aren't like, the same shirts. I, I know what you're talking about. Cause this, this has happened to me before. Um, but it, it, it always happens with specific brands. It's not like, I feel like the, one of the brand, like I, I don't buy from this brand at all. Cause I think they make horrible uh, products is Under Armour. Under Armour sizes are all over the place. Oh, they're ridiculous. Like and I've gotten I I've gotten hoodies from them in all different sizes that were the same it, size. Yeah. Don't don't buy from Under Armour. I'm 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 on the no Under Armour grind. I've had shoes from them like legit fall apart after a year of having them. That's that's pretty normal for shoes. Really? Yeah, if they're not like two hundred dollars shoes, that's normal. If they're not like like Ultra Boost, that's very normal. I don't know. I mean, like some of my shoes. I guess I have only like Adidas shoes, but I've had like the same few shoes that I've been wearing. But you're also I'm... like rotating them out. If you wear the same, that's true. Shoes. I did. I, I wore like a cheaper. For... If they're a cheaper Under Armour too, yeah, they'll fall. I can't remember what that's price normal. they were, but I can't remember. <laughs> what, I can't remember what price they were, but I mean they weren't like forty bucks. I think they were like seventy, eighty. But anyways, no, that was no those. that that or, or or even pants. If I'm getting a thirty four, thirty four pants. Would... Pants is a way 34, more than a 34, 34 should be the same around the yeah. waist and the same length. It's 34 inches. That's what it's supposed to be. But yet, I try on a 34, 34 from one brand, and it feels nothing like a 34, 34 from a different brand. A brand, yeah. And even no if brand, it's the, even if it's like the yeah. same straight straight leg style, not like not like one's a skinny jean and one's a loose fit. They're both just straight fits. It's no ridiculous. branding is the same. And I hate it. Like you're like, oh, this brand. It's like, oh, I got to get this brand in a large. Or, and it's like, oh, I got to get this one in a medium because it makes the shirt look huge if I have it. And I, I hate that because like you always like, especially if you're ordering online and you're like. I get ordering, so paranoid when I order online. I don't. It depends on what I'm ordering though. But like, it's like, I'm like, oh, I forgot. I should have gotten this in a large because the medium is tiny. And it's like, you know, vice versa. But I always. I don't know. I feel like this goes this, this, I would rather have a shirt that's too tight than pants that are short. I feel like 
Because, like, at least, like, a tight shirt, you can... Because mm. at least a tight shirt, you can wear, like, a sweatshirt underneath it and, like, save it for, like, yeah. colder weather. But, like, pants that are, like... I'm trying to, I'm trying to think of a good length. Because, obviously, like... You, you could say, like, some pants are, like... It depends, like, how drastic you're talking about it, of course, is what I'm trying to say. But... To add, like, like too short like i'm thinking if like it's like, a, like if it's an inch short that's not bad you just wear some long socks and yeah. i'll take care of it but if it's like if <laughs> i've never gotten a pair of pants that was just three inches too short though no i haven't either i mean because you just know at that point yeah unless you ordered online of course and it, they sent you like the wrong size or something but yeah um yeah i i don't know like i i can deal with a tight shirt yeah, I, it, I get that. I have, I have, I have some tight shirts in my in my closet that are too. just to put under, just to put under a hoodie if it's cold Spot out. Shirts, yeah, or jackets or whatever. Or I mean, just I'm walking around the house. Yeah, I mean, I also, I've been, I've been liking wearing, I, I've been liking getting a little bit of like thicker, not thicker. Uh, like I hate thick shirts, by the way. Oh, I love I'm them. Not big, I'm, I'm not a big fan of thick shirts. Heavy I, shirt. No, mm-hmm. I, I don't like those. But like, like a little bit like bigger shirts because I, I wear a large, like medium large. Um. I don't get like an extra large sometimes and wear it to the gym. That's nice. Have like a little bit of a bag of your clothes for the gym. Mm-hmm. That's all. I have like, I have a, like, there's a shirt I, I, I wear to the gym. So a good fit. That's like one of my favorite shirts to wear. I wear that with my gym shirt shorts. Mm, good combo. Mm. There's also like that whole thing. Um, well, I, you could tie this in. I hate shorts that go below the knee. It depends. Uh, well, it depends on how I'm styling them. Like I was wearing a pair that went below the knee last night. But it was a it was a specific kind of just normal khaki short, and I was wearing them with an oversized like khakis are a little straight, bit better. Straight, uh, if it's like a gym short, it should not go past your knees. Yeah, I'm talking not about um, past yeah. your knees. like khakis past your knees is okay. I don't I don't like it still. Um, but I ca- uh, gym shorts should not go past your knees because it's like it was like I mean like, that was like a style kind of almost like when we were growing up was the big, yeah, it was the feet. basketball shorts, the basketball shorts. Right. It was like the, it would go past your knee. Sometimes they would even go down to like your, like your, like past your calf. I I, rem- I used to remember seeing some like that. I've been wanting to get some of those gym shark shorts. Gym shark is a, Hey, nice gym shark sponsor, yeah, sponsor us, us because I would wear the heck out of your shorts. I don't up to 50% off on select shorts. I haven't worn them this week, but no gym shark is a, awesome brand it's like it's, you, it's like that that was, it's the like hemmed like it's like the, like the kind of like cutoffs is the, those are the ones i'm kind of i'm wearing a pair right now they're not gym shark but they're uh, um you said like but, cut off where it's like it's like is it like more like like the like the sweatshirt it, material you know that you know the ones i wore uh to fort fort yeah, area I, I can't remember i can't remember what they looked like were they like the ones where it's like uh like the ones that are like sweatpant style um, yeah 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 and those are my like favorite it, shorts it's like sweatpants that are like cut off pretty much like cut off sweatpants pretty much oh, okay okay i'm looking at them right now i don't i honestly don't know where my pair is at so i can't go and get them for reference you get but, them in a medium or large uh i think large no medium i don't know they fit good good in scene they're fit, not too they short fit, i feel like i, I think large because my legs are getting bigger so shout outs shout out to the legs uh, i think i found the ones you wear the legacy shorts no. is what they're called. I, I, yeah, I like and I like the designs. Yeah, I'm gonna get a pair of those. I, I like the designs that they have, and that, like I, I, we're getting completely off topic, but who cares? I know. But, I, uh, I love I love getting new gym. But um, it's a great time. I love the like, vin- I, I, I've been loving a lot of the gym, uh, brands of of clothing. Like the like smaller company gym brands are like some some of the best piece of clothing you can get out there. Oh yeah, I um, especially a as a guy of- who doesn't. <laughs> I, I don't wear a lot of other stuff besides like sweatshirts and sweatpants and joggers and there's um, shorts. There's a so pair of Akatsuki shorts I found that I was like, dude, I would totally wear these if I actually watched dude, the I show. Dude, I want to get, I want to get, I want to get a belt, uh, like a squatting belt, like an Akatsuki squatting belt. I've seen some of those; those look so nice. They're cool, but I don't know how often I'd actually use it. I mean, I squat every week almost. So, do you bring your own belt though? I don't lift it ton of weight because my squatting form is really bad so if i when i i feel like when i get better squatting form and i start lifting more i'm obviously gonna want a belt i'm sending you these shorts you can look at them later um but but yeah anyway anyway if somebody ever wants to sponsor us with some like gym clothes hit us up because we love our gym clothes speaking of the gym (laughs) 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 okay 
<laughs> Wait, I guys, this, my this gears. is the only one I know. Oh, uh, okay. So <laughs> I'm gonna paint y'all a little picture. So you're you're at the gym, having a good, nice little workout, and you see an attractive person, male or female, whatever you're into. I'm gonna say a female for the situation because that's <laughs> what I'm attracted to. <laughs> What's blood doing? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just trying to paint the picture. Okay, I'm, okay, paint the picture. Paint so the picture. you see, I see an attractive girl, and I'm like, hey, I might try to go talk to her, riz her up a little bit. <laughs> in this dude, in this, in this, in, in, I'm like, yeah. When I start thinking about it, this dude, testosterone beast, as we'll call him. He's got arms bigger than your whole body. His legs are bigger than the squatting rack. Walks up to the girls like, hey, babe. You're like, oh, okay. There's just goes all my ounce of confidence. I can't compete with that. Good night. Good night, moon. Good night, star. We are going back to doing. <laughs> Good night, moon. Good night, star. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, you're the, cut the, off you're done the you moral of the story it. and the picture i'm trying to paint is when you're trying to talk you think about trying to go talk to a girl in the gym and some dude who's way bigger than you is they're dating or they're like calls a babe or whatever and you're just like man i can't compete <laughs> bro is not gonna break i'm gonna I break i'm gonna break um you know what's just equally as uh, maybe even worse is when you see a girl and you're like, hey, you know, maybe I should try to talk to her. And then she's just got like the boyfriend with like the like an Owen style haircut. She's like the worst haircut ever. Or like, wow. just like I'm just saying because you need a haircut. But you know how like girls are like really into guys with like long hair with like the middle part now or whatever. Yeah. And, like they're I like mean... they're like uh like mm. it's it's just like <laughs> where what's going on what's it's the like styling it's like now? and and there and it's just i don't know dude it's like the, the hairstyling is awful now like it's it really terrible. is terrible it used to be it used to be back in the day you could just have hair like me you know where it's just like it's shorter on the sides a little bit longer on top and that was just the normal yeah. haircut and now everybody's trying to get longer hair like people try to get perms oh those are disgusting perms, mullets mullets like, disgusting come just, on bro like look <laughs> maybe my diagram at the start didn't pay, uh, paint the picture enough it's just kind of hard to, it, it's hard out here being single sometimes and you get and <laughs> it's rough like, out huh. the streets you know it's like maybe maybe this is it maybe this is my opportunity and then the testosterone beast comes in you're just like nah it's it over again like i'm just gonna go back i'm back to the lobby with me he's gonna do that he's gonna do the wizard of oz <laughs> No, but uh, I and he's spinning the wheel. All my uh, all my all my homies down there can who who can relate to this. Just let me know because I feel, I definitely not the only person who can relate to this. It's, it's rough um, out in the streets. It is rough out in the streets. And it gets rougher every day. It you know maybe it's one been day ten years you know, since the last incident. And maybe one day when I look like Zorro, I have the chest of Zorro and the shoulders of Frankie. Then maybe I'll be able to be the testosterone beast one day. I'm, getting, I'm there. getting there. Two months going strong. Two months going strong to the gym. I'm. Since September, how many months is that? Long. Nine months? No. Wait, we're in the fourth month, and that's the ninth month. Seven months. Yeah, seven months. Consistently seven, in the gym. Seven months. You can't see my progress because I got a hoodie on, but I have the shoulders of a Greek god, so we're fine. <laughs> <laughs> Bro's all about them delts. Oh, I am all about them delts. You know, I can, you know what's I can also a, worse? Dude, I can I can take a drink out of my delts if I go like this, and like I can I can take a drink out. Don't of ever say that again. I, I, <laughs> I, bro, she's I can, in the shower and he's like flexing and he's got like the divots. He's like, hey, I gotta have bigger shoulders than the testosterone beast. He could probably have a whole like large milkshake in there with how big his shoulders are. 
<laughs> this was my dumbest. Look, look, look. This was my dumbest point yet. My dumbest point yet. But it's my most relatable point yet. Okay. Because you no, relate grinds to it. my gears, Owen. Two out of two people, dude. It should be a branding deal. Two out of two people recommend it. Us two. It's like the nine out of ten doctors who recommend it. <laughs> Say your next what, point. What are we, rec what are we recommending? <laughs> what, what are we point. recommending? I don't, Say I don't your know. Next point. Say your next point. <laughs> I, 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 hey. I, I, I am so lost. I'm I lost too. Say your point. <laughs> Say your point. I might have stole this one from you and you cut it out, but uh, uh, I hate I hate when you're cutting your fingernails and you cut them bad and it just like hurts, especially for me. So I'll show you what I got. This this this. This John right here, I'm a, I'm a, I make beats, but I use this thing right here. And so the way I use this is I go. So if I cut my fingernails wrong and they're too short and it has like the fleshy part on the outside, mm -hmm. every time you hit that, it is extremely painful. And if you do that a hundred times, you're not going to want to have that finger on your hand anymore. And it's just awful. And like every Axe. time you tap your fingers, Axe. it just hurts. And then you get hangnails and they hurt and just everything's yep. bad. And you want to cry and you want to call your mom and say, hey, Dude. I'm done for a little bit. Like, can you pick me up from school? Because I don't want to be here anymore. Like, it's just a it, you're not going to have a good time. That's just when you like just pack it up and you're like, all right, everybody pack it in, pack it in. We get everything together and you don't leave. It's it's no, you're gonna but, have um, a bad time. Um, it was the worst for me when I played football and I would cut them like really short. And it, like obviously, like you can get your fingers cut anywhere in football, of course. And like you like jam your thumb, and you have that extra feeling of jamming it with like the cut fingernails and the, 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 the you get what I'm saying. Or you know, it's also worse. This is another one. This is kind of another pure grinder, but it it kind of fits in when. It was like big, like COVID season, right? And everybody was like hand sanitizing, san mm -hmm. hand, like every like fifteen minutes, right. and you just always forgot that you had paper cuts or scabs or something on your hands. Yeah, and you put on, and you're just like, <laughs> just burns. And it's just like the open, the open, open wound, sort of. Uh, man, it's just, it's just, it's not a good time. It does. It's rough out here. <laughs> It, it, moral of the story it's is rough. it's rough out here. It's rough it's, out here. Fighting testosterone beasts or wounds and putting a whole hand bottle sanitizer of alcohol on it so it burns. It's just it's not a good time. And we're just we're just praying for things to get better out here, man. But at the same we're, time, we're trying to make things better with our lives, even though our lives are perfectly fine. <laughs> oh, hey. Uh, if you, by the way, if you guys want to see me fight like a testosterone beast, I'll do it. Just drop enough <laughs> likes on the video. <laughs> Dude, can, no, can no. we can we do the last one so we can get over with this? Like, can you please <laughs> yeah. say your last one so we can just be? Don't done worry, with don't this worry. Sprint. It'll be it'll be like Zor versus Mihawk the first time, but then like eight years later, I'll be back. Actually, like and you will later. be a testosterone beast. And I'll be a testosterone beast. Bro's going to be hyped out of go the free workout. Style. <laughs> what? Just keep going, man. Okay, so we're recording this on a holiday week. Shout out Easter. Hope you all have a good Easter if you celebrate it. If not, Easter. Hope you, hope you have a great day anyways. But um, this doesn't apply to like the relatives I visit for Easter because I know all my relatives for Easter pretty well. But it's just I was just thinking about this. When you're visiting relatives you never see and you have to constantly keep repeating yourself about what you're doing because none of them actually care, but they're just having a conversation with you anyways because they feel like they're obligated to. And you have to tell like 13 people, yeah, I'm going to college. You're in college now? You guys grow Dude, up so fast. It's the it's the graduation party effect, man. Oh, it's so bad. Like, <laughs> I thought I was like, it was the it was awful at the graduation party. I'd be like, actually, it, I should take that back. It wasn't too bad because I knew most people and like they all knew I was graduating of course um because it's a graduation party <laughs> so you're graduating huh <laughs> yeah but like you finished was, most, high school <laughs> most of the people who i invited were like people who i've kept tabs with and like it was like my it it's like the same group of people who like i like the like 
who I go to Easter with is like people who obviously know what I'm doing and stuff like that. So, but like, it's like relatives who you visit, like maybe like two, three times a year, like Christmas, Thanksgiving, and like some other random picnic throughout the random part of the year that you just don't want to go <laughs> just, to. Just picnic time. You Picnics. Know? You're just but out you're flying like, kites in you're the like, park. There's the checkered like, yeah, blanket out. Like, so they're like, yeah, you're, uh, what grade do you win? It's like, no, I'm actually, I'm actually graduated. I'm in college. Oh, you're in college. I didn't know that. And I'm like, yeah, you probably did know that, but you didn't decide to come to my graduation party. Cause yeah. And <laughs> so, so how, how's this? Go- <laughs> yeah. It, it you've just, gotten so much bigger. <laughs> you've grown. <laughs> you've grown. You grow again. What are you feeding this kid? <laughs> the ladies must be all lining up for you. They are. Oh. They are. <laughs> we, can, we can go talk to my testosterone Dude. piece friend. Nope. That that being a kid hearing that you were like, yeah. Now like yeah. whenever whenever like whenever I hear something like that or I think back on somebody telling me that, I'm like, I was lied to. I was cheated. I was, something I'm has hurt. been stolen from me. I'm deeply I was, hurt. I was promised by my Graham Graham that ladies would be lined up around the block for me, and I'm still waiting. I'm still <laughs> the line waiting. has not started yet. No, they have not. <laughs> I am taking I am taking mailings now, please. Thank you. Uh, it's uh, <laughs> ladies, if you're watching story, this, hey, <laughs> it's tough out here. Don't say that. That's that's gross. <laughs> but if you guys still want to see me fight the testosterone beast, I'll uh, I'll do it one day. <clears throat> uh, let me get on my time skip grind real quick and I'll be fine. Well, anyway, we hope you enjoyed. Wait, no, latest... wait, you have one more, don't you? I'm done. I did four. I started. Uh, wait, no, no, you didn't do four. What were your four? Yeah, I did. You did the, the, wait. Movies, clothes, Movies, Funkos, clothes, Funkos, fingernails. Fingernails. That's, that's, that's three. That's not four. Well, we hope you enjoy <laughs> probably the worst Threads Do podcast we've had. 500 today. likes and I'll still fight the dude. The toss to- <laughs> I can't talk today. Please go pay your rent.